Rice University is um, building a sandcastle um, in a little while. <laughs> I'm not sure. Roger, when does this gig begin? <laughs> what time does it start? At nine o'clock? Ten o'clock? Starts at ten? <laughs> All of the above. Okay. What is happening here is breakfast. We got a little bit of bacon, sausage, hash browns, eggs, cheese, flat biscuits and everybody's having a great time. Uh, right now, my job is super flunky, Roger's helper. Mm, I would estimate we're feeding about 50. This year is the 25th anniversary of the discovery of the buckyball by the Nobel Prize winning team that included Rick Smalley, Bob Curl, and Harold Croto. The Rice University Facilities and Engineering team has been participating in this uh, sandcastle building competition for 13 or 14 years and we were able to talk them into making a buckyball this year in honor of the uh, anniversary of, of its discovery. This pile of sand will eventually become our main structure which will be the, uh, the buckyball uh, structure. What we're doing is preparing to move this when the whistle blows we'll move this forward a little bit leave some up there we have a pile out here that is excess sand that is for everybody to use. So we're, we've got a team moving that sand, you know, as we get this in here, get everything set down and then the people will come in and start doing the actual structure itself. Tell us a little bit about that and how F&E gets involved in rice events. We're fortunate that they back us and they, they help support us in our, uh, this I think is our 14th year that we've been doing it together, my 12th or something like that. and. Uh, they give us time, they give us uh, money support, they uh, let us have meetings and give us time support, so uh, they're, they're just with us 100%. And uh, a couple times already we came home with the, with the trophy, it was, really, it was really good. What they're doing right now is putting form boards in place to help uh, structure the sculpture that's going to happen from this. Is the big pile of sand in the back is going to turn into a globe, but it'll have a curve to its sides. And then they'll form the, uh, the bonds of a, of a C60 molecule. If you'll come over here and look at this sign over here, eventually the sculpture is going to look something like this. This is the, a depiction of the C60 molecule. And uh, you see the, the uh, typical hexagon and pentagon combination. This is what won the Nobel Prize, the Nobel Prize for Chemistry for uh, Croto, Curl, and Smalley. Yeah. Yeah. This is Marty, who's okay. in charge of the uh, Rice University entry into this competition. Well, I think this is my eighth or ninth year. Um, Alex has been the, the jefe before. Right. And Alex he could, is the guy with the cowboy yes, hat on. Yes, right? Alex Ferentz. Right. And um, he could give you a better time frame of how many years we've been doing this. But this is something like uh, 14 or 15 years probably all told. Right. There's going to be a ball in the back, right? Yes, we're going to try to make a, a sphere five feet tall and once we get it packed and solidified, that's why they're mixing in the water to pack it down and then we'll tamp it, then we'll start shaping it into a round sphere and then we have templates that we'll place on top of it and start cutting it out into the form of a buckyball. To have the rims and then the the stars and the rays uh, is the forms that they're setting up now and that's why they're trying to get their measurements and where to cut into this big Hershey kiss of sand that they gave us to start with. So is it fun being the jefe of this? Uh, it's challenging. Yes I think you we were talking yesterday and you said it was fun to have finished. Yes at three o'clock I, I may have something cool to drink. We're always watching the clock and we're getting there and, and we've pretty well got our forms and our sand, the elevations that we want. 
So now we have to take out some of the risk factors of when we pull our forms so that it doesn't collapse. On parallel with the outside of this form. So we're, we're pretty close to what we need to do, but I think we have to fan that form out. Take it back that way just a little bit. It's 12.22 now in the Buckyball Sandcastle entry into the Sandcastle competition. And the basic shapes have been put down, packed, and prepared. The Buckyball itself now is taking shape with the hexagons and pentagons. And you can see what we're doing, what the team is doing, is they've put the forms down on top of the sand and they're using trowels delicately to take away sand so that they'll leave ridges that will uh, symbolize the shape of the buckyball. Below the buckyball on this next terrace is going to be a starfish and stars, and the starfish will have written on it the words um, anniversary, I believe, or 25th year anniversary. Oh, my water's going out before I can use it. There, dude. The missing link. Yeah, that's the big foot. <laughs> about 25 years ago from a, uh, an operator, I was an a apprentice. He was about five foot tall, and so I seemed like Bigfoot to him. Say hi to the camera. Hey, how y'all doing, camera? <laughs> <laughs> um, a little bit of everything, you know. You know, just this is my first time, so it's pretty exciting for me to see how Rice does it. We have only 15 minutes to go and we're at the crunch time. We've got to finish. So we're just trying to work as fast as we can and trying to get the most of it. So hopefully we are counting on a great finish. And uh, now we just have to wait for the three sets of judges to come by. And then we wait some more and then they make the announcement.